All right, so let's do another variation of the birthday problem. And let's keep our, obviously, our group of seven here. And let's ask the following question. What's the probability that two of the seven people in a group have the same birthday? Now, I'm sure you're saying to yourself, well, that, you know, what, what, what the hell? I mean, you just did, uh, you know, the previous problem is the exact same thing. This one's different. In the previous problem, uh, it asked, what was the probability of two people having a birthday on April 15th? This is asking what the probability of two people having the same birthday, irrelevant, you know, regardless of date, is. Now, one might think it would be the same because, you know, duh. But let's just figure it out and see if it is the same, right? So the probability that the person on the left has a birthday of some date is going to be one, right? He's guaranteed to have a, a birthday, right? Because he's alive, so. <laughs> um, right, so that probability is one, okay? Right, so the probability is going to be equal to this, okay? So what about the second person? Well, the second person or the third or the, the next person, I should say, will have a probability of or at least the probability that they have the same date, right, with the first and second person, is going to be, well, that's only one date, again, out of the entire calendar year, 365, right? So what about the other five people? Well, they want only two that have the um, same birthday, right? So there is... Um, Let's see. Yeah, let's just keep it with black here. Not to confuse anybody, right? So this is some date. Let's say, you know, January 2nd, you know, for sake of argument, right? So what's the probability that the third person doesn't have a birthday on January 2nd? Well, that's any other date other than January 2nd, right? So that's 364 divided by 365, right? The total days in the calendar year, okay? What about the fourth person? Well, it's any other date other than those two, right? This one and this one, right? So 363, 365, right? Any other date besides those two, 363, divided by the total days in the calendar year, 365, right? And then for the um, fifth person, 362, right? Because any other day, they can't have the same birthday. Only these two people can. 365, right? So that's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, two more. 361, 365, and then 360, uh, 365, okay? Now, the same thing like the other problem. It doesn't necessarily have to be the first and second person. It can be the first and third, first and fourth, the second and third, second and fourth, right? So we have to take into account the fact that there are different combinations of two out of a group of seven. Two distinct combinations, I should say, right? So then, obviously, we have to multiply this by a factor of 7c2, right? And that's going to take into account the fact that uh, there are 21 different combinations of two distinct in a group of seven, right? So if you do the math and crunch the numbers here, you find that the probability that this happens is going to be something like Probability is going to be, again, I don't have a calculator handy, so you forgive me. But if you do the math, it should come out to something like 0 0.055 or something like that. Right? So figure 5%. Now that is a substantial increase from the, uh, the other problem where it was um, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 4. Um, so... Obviously, once you remove the date restriction, it's a lot more probable, right? So hopefully this helped. Hopefully this cleared up some things, and uh, we will see you all in the next video.